Now we will study the pathological and morphological features of right sided heart failure including the description of nutmeg liver which is very very important from exam's point of view. Now you know that right side of heart receives the blood from all of the body. So failure of right sided heart failure causes edema in almost all parts of the body. If this edema occurs in body cavities such as peritoneum and pleura it is called effusion. If this edema occurs in spleen it will cause splenomegaly. And if this edema occurs in liver and portal system, it is known as hepatomegaly. And these changes of right-sided heart failure that occur at the level of liver, they are very characteristic and typical. So we will discuss this in details. So on gross specimen, the liver will be enlarged obviously due to congestion. And if you see the cut section of liver, it will show a speckled appearance like the seed of nutmeg. This appearance is called nutmeg liver. But why this speckled appearance or nutmeg appearance actually occur? You know that liver is made up of multiple lobules and inside or at the center of each lobule is the central vein. So when there is right sided heart failure, the central veins at the center of hepatic lobule become congested and that's why the center of lobules appear red due to congested blood. And the part of lobule away from the central vein does not look congested, instead it looks normal or slightly paler. Now imagine that there are multiple hundreds of lobules in a liver and each lobule has a central red congested area surrounded by a peripheral pale area. So as you can see in the diagram here, there will be speckled appearance of liver because these red colored dots are congested parts of lobules and the remaining brown colored parts are the non-congested areas of lobule. And together these alternating congested and non-congested areas give us speckled appearance which we call as nutmeg liver. Now on microscopic view, again you will be able to see the hepatic lobules and one of these hepatic lobules is shown in the diagram. You can see that this central zone of lobules appear red due to congestion of central vein and the peripheral areas are brown or pale. Now another important point is that in chronic cases of right sided heart failures, these congested central veins undergo hemorrhage and the central zone of lobule resultantly develops hemorrhagic necrosis. These damaged areas are then replaced by fibrous tissue. This formation of fibrous tissue in the center of lobule is called cardiac cirrhosis. So please keep in mind that cardiac cirrhosis does not occur in heart, rather it occurs in liver at the center of lobules due to right sided heart failure. Overall in congestive hepatomegaly you see nutmeg liver, that means liver has a speckled or mottled appearance due to alternating congested and non-congested areas. And on microscopy you see the same features that is congested centrilobular areas surrounded by peripheral pale areas. And in microscopy, in some cases, you can see cardiac cirrhosis.